Hello, I'm Judy, the organizer and creator at Rescue My Space. Welcome to my channel. So before I introduce the video today, I want to introduce someone special to me. Come here. Hello, my name is Victoria, and I am a niece to Aunt TJ, the organizer. Yes, her name is Victoria. This is my niece. And in this video, she was able to help me organize my linen closet. Today's video is me organizing my linen closet. I will show you a before and an after. The reason that I decided to add my niece to this video was to show you how important it is to incorporate the little ones when it comes to organizing. This just helps them understand the importance of being organized and helps them learn how to maintain the space. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So before you organize anything, you need to create a blueprint of some sort. This blueprint can be a sketch of what you want your organized space to look like. For example, since we'll be focusing on the linen closet, this blueprint that I created shows exactly how I want the layout of my closet, including all the products that I purchased for the linen closet. Before I actually started to sketch it, I also measured the shelves in the linen closet. This allowed me to know what size bins or baskets or containers that I needed or that could fit in the linen closet properly. So here's the before of the linen closet. It was being used as a storage for all of the excess towels, washcloths, pillowcases, sheets, and blankets. As you can see, there was no order in it. It lacked personality, it wasn't functional, and it just needed a facelift. Here's the linen closet in its entirety and before we tackled it. After confirming where everything would sit, it was now time to put everything back in its place. I had my helper, Victoria, help me place everything back in its place. As I mentioned before, this is great for the little ones because they're able to see where everything goes as well as read where everything goes. Therefore, they have no excuse to why they shouldn't and can't place back any of the items back in its place. This is after my linen closet was organized and put together, thanks to my niece. As you can see, there is a place for everything. The items that need to be labeled are labeled. And best of all, it's extremely functional and beautiful to look at, at least to me. Starting on the top shelf, I placed my blankets on the left side. They are at the highest shelf because these are the items that I grab the least. Next to that are extra pillows. The next shelf is where I keep the guest towels, which are other items that are grabbed the least. Next to that is where I decided to keep some Q-tips and some cotton balls. I placed those items in clear containers to make it easy to find. And on the right side of that shelf is where I put all my makeup towels. These are the towels I use when I wanna remove my makeup. They're pretty stained and not pretty enough to be seen, so I place them in a black solid container or bin just to hide them. On the shelf under that is where I place all my extra pillowcases and sheets. I decided to create two different bins for all my pillowcases because I have some pillowcases that are only white and I have some pillowcases that are gray and I wanted to separate them so that they're easy to get to. This also goes for my white and gray sheets. I found these awesome label holders at Target and they're extremely easy to use. All you have to do is just clip them onto whatever container you have. Under that shelf is where I place my facial towels. I separated them according to the way that I use them. I use the white ones in the morning and the gray ones at night, hence the label morning and night. And next to those containers are the towels I'm currently using. On the next shelf is where I place my extra sheets, which are in one bin. And on the bin next to that is where we keep the extra towels. Last but not least is where we keep our toilet paper. I found this amazing container at Home Goods, which houses my toilet paper perfectly. I hope you liked this video and I hope it motivated you to create order in your home. I'm not at all telling you that you have to go out and purchase any of these products. This is just how I like my home to look. But of course, you don't have to purchase anything. You can do anything, absolutely anything to your space. Just make sure that it's as functional 
as you can handle. So before we end this video, do you have anything to say? Mm -hmm. The question of the day is, how will you organize your space? How will you organize your space? So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and, and don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.